wanted to show you guys where the project is right now on sort of remaking the workshop. It's been quite a huge project. Um, it started out because we just really, you know, every year in the fall, it's like the time to kind of regroup with the um, workshop and get it a little more um, built up and improved so it's ready for the, the upcoming year. And this year we needed to make a lot of improvements all through the year because uh, we were just making a ton more sandals than before. And uh, I got to the point where uh, we had to get another sewing machine and we just ran out of space in our old area. So I created like this new wing and I built, um, I totally changed the sewing area. I built a bunch of cabinets and um, all the sewing machines are on this side of the workshop now instead of over there. And when they were over there, uh, so now I built new shelving for this whole area. I got things reorganized. And then one of the things I wanted to do was now that we've got this new space, we need to keep it clear, right? And find efficient ways to store things. Well, the last thing I built, or I'm almost done, is this table here. And let me, sh I'll show you this table and we'll see if this piece fits, it might fit. What I'm building here is a, um, it's basically a storage unit for the soling sheets. Like, let me give you an example. So here's one of the sheets that we use. This is for the, for the chargers. And we use this on the mountain goats as well as the top layer. Um, and so we need to store a lot of these things. And usually we'll store them on these uh, four foot wide by probably about six foot tall racks. And the racks are, they're pretty good. They're about two feet deep, but the soling material is kind of these erratic shapes. And um, so some of our bigger sheets that we use for the new, uh, they're called, it's Vibram Nuflex, the stuff we use for the warriors and for mountain goats. When you get a full sheet of it, it doesn't really fit exactly on the shelf it kind of lifts up you got to squish it in there it's always spilling out so what my idea was was to somehow we always need tables to work on when we do assembly and things like that and usually we'll just set up plastic tables and stuff like that you know um uh you know uh, tables like that anyways so we would normally do that but my idea was if we could combine the um, storage space for the soling sheets and a table, then we're gonna like get way out in front. We'll have this usable space. So what I did is I built this cabinet, and you can look here. Uh, it's a really uh, deep cabinet. It's 28 inches deep, because that's how big, this is basically how big the sheet is for um, the, the full double sheet for the new flex. It's big stuff. So right here, I figure, I think I could store about 150 um, of the new flex sheets right here. And then on the other end, there's the same size cabinet. I can store 150 there. And then for the more flex, I can store another 150 on this side and 150 on that side. So essentially, we could have a pile of new flex and more flex, our sewing material, that's as big and deep as this table, which is about three feet tall. I think I could store. Um, about 600 sheets, which is a good amount. If you multiply that out by numbers of pairs of sandals, it, if say you average like, you know, 10, maybe it's enough to make like 6,000 pairs or something like that. Anyways, you can make a lot of sandals with all that material. Um, and it's all gonna fit in there nicely. Anyways, here's the tape. So what I did is I made this thing out of birch, uh, this like cabinet grade birch plywood. And then, uh, so I made four boxes and I just joined them all together in the middle with screws. And then um, I put this, this edging on it here. So the way the cabinet worked out when it all got together was like, it's like almost nine feet long. It's about nine feet long. So it's too long for a single sheet of plywood. And then I wanted to have some kind of edge for it that was overlapping. I didn't just want a single piece of plywood. And so I was trying to figure out how to deal with the top of the table and without getting too fancy or crazy. I didn't want to just stick two pieces of plywood together and then like say out on the edge you'd have this seam and, and it would kind of split. 
and I did want it to overlap because you never know, you, sometimes you want to clamp things to the edge of the table, it makes the table more useful um, in a lot of situations. So what I ended up doing was getting this poplar and it's uh, basically a one by six, um, so like nominally, and it's, uh, so it's about five and a half inches wide. And I did a border around the table and then I did a little piece in the middle because still the length of this is over eight feet tall, even in, in or eight feet long, even inside of the, um, the, the border I made. So uh, I split it in the middle and now I've got these, these sheets. I made the first one, let's see if it, let's see if it fits. Wouldn't that be great if it fit? Oh my gosh, it just happened. It fit. <laughs> so anyways, I'm really excited about this because I, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So we got poplar and uh, birch uh, panels, and this is gonna create a lot of space for us to work. The other thing that I wanted to do um, with this is the birch uh, plywood, it holds up really well. It's a lot, like the edges are a lot better than say like your normal plywood because it is a cabinet grade. But the birch, since it's a solid, I'm sorry, the poplar, since it's a solid wood hanging over, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little, I'll sand it or route the edge. And then I'm not really going to be worried about the edge kind of fraying. It'll, um, it'll have a lot of integrity. So anyways, there it is. Um, I'll put this next piece on and then I'll take some pictures and see what you think. left is um, basically to load it up and uh, get it situated just right in the workshop but um, yeah I'm pretty happy with it yeah this thing's gonna get a lot of use and it's really gonna be um, really helpful for storage and for working so I guess the last thing now we got to finish cleaning up and and getting reorganized now that we have all of these new cabinets and stuff so that's going to be a process all by itself. So maybe we'll show you when it's done, what it looks like. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.